The term camera shot refers to how an image, character or object is framed on the screen. Directors use a variety of camera shots to create atmosphere or use it to tell a story in a specific way. I'm going to show you something beautiful. First of all, we've got the extreme long shot. This is used to create atmosphere um, and it's also used as an establishing shot. Next up is the long shot. Now this is also known as the wide angle shot and uh, just allows us to fit more into the frame. We can see here that they're using this shot so that we can establish where the character is and what's taking place around them. The medium shot allows us to see more detail, such as character facial expressions, but also enables us to still fit other subjects into the frame, such as another character. There are no strings on me. The close-up. This is normally of a character from the shoulders up and really lets the audience focus on character expression. But this can also be used to focus on an object that is key and essential to the storyline. For mercy. The extreme close-up goes a step further from that, really, really focusing on one specific subject with not much else to look at in the background. Sometimes this can be intense for our audience because they are forced to focus on this one subject or character. The Dutch angle. This is where the camera is deliberately tilted to one side. This could be used for dramatic effect or to create the feeling of disorientation. The high angle shot shows a character or subject from above. This is the camera pointing down onto them. Frequently this is used to make characters look weak or inferior. However, in this case we can see that's not true. That's the thing about cinematography. It's not always set in stone. Sometimes the rules that are made are there to be broken or at least manipulated and changed. However, in this case, we can see that we are following the rules. The low angle shot shows the character from below. We're looking up at the character, giving it a sense of superiority, uh, power and dominance. Next up is the follow shot. The camera can follow the action or the subject and be used in fast paced chase scenes like this one. The tracking shot. The camera follows alongside the subject, usually on tracks, however it can be done via handheld or steady cam equipment. And finally, panning. This is where the camera is mounted in a fixed location and travels around a subject, okay, it rotates around it. This allows us to see and focus on a subject, however we also see more of our environment and the place where the action is happening. Camera shots or cinematography is not there to limit you to using certain shots at certain times. Okay, You can explore so many different ways of telling a story and that's what a film is, you're telling a story. So I uh, hope this was informative and you learned something from it and thank you for listening. <laughs>